All right, thank you guys for watching. It's been a long road to masters and I have learned a tremendous amount on the way. I want to share three main keys that really enhance my gameplay so you guys can go and implement these strategies and achieve higher ranks for yourselves. So the first key is routine. I've always had a bad tendency to jump straight into competitive matches without any sort of warm up. However, if you want to rank up, you should always be playing competitive while warmed up to the point of being in a flow state. Flow state is loosely defined as being in the zone, and if you're not in the zone, you're in the spawn room. Jokes aside, find a way to warm up and never jump straight into competitive. I warm up by playing AimLab, which is a free aim training tool that you can find on Steam. It's perfect because you can enter your Overwatch sensitivity right into the aim lab settings and you're good to start practicing. I use the scores that I receive and compare them to my averages and make sure I'm above average before playing any ranked. On aim lab I mostly play the game mode grid shot because it is my favorite and it is probably the most popular one but all of the game modes have benefits for different types of aim. Regardless of what role you play, make sure to warm up to put yourself into a concentrated state so you can perform your best. Key number two, flex your picks. You don't need to know how to play the whole roster, but there are three tank composition types that you should have heroes for, and that is dive, not dive, and hybrid. Let's say you're playing DPS and you have tanks that are Winston and Ball. Since you know that they have to jump into enemy backlines to be effective and you're not going to be trying to win the shield war, you should pick a fast flanker like Tracer or Genji to help them in their attacks. If you have a Ryan and a Sigma instead, something like McCree would work a little bit better because he moves more at their speed. If you have a Ryan Winston, you can choose based on what your other DPS goes. If they go flank to help the Winston, then you can go more bunker to help the Rhine. If they play soldier, then you know that they have your backline covered and you can go tracer to flank with your Winston. I like to play echo in these hybrid comps because I can poke behind our shield and then engage when my dive tank goes in. It's all about teamwork and picking the heroes that can most easily achieve that teamwork. And lastly, key three, have a second account. This one is definitely optional, but it has helped me a ton. On one account, I can treat competitive a little more like quick play because I care less about the rank, but I still play against a similar skill level. I find that in quick play, I get paired with and against silvers and golds on my master's account, and it just doesn't feel balanced enough. If I win, I don't know if it's because I played well or if because the enemies were golds, and if I lose, I don't know if it's because I played bad or if it's because my teammates were golds. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's just hard to tell if you're playing well in quick play, but in competitive on a different account, it's a lot more easier to pinpoint when you're playing at a better ability, if that makes sense. I also like to use my higher ranked account as a benchmark to beat on my other account, and then I can juggle them back and forth. Anyway, that's it for me today. I just wanted to make this video update that I got to Masters. I'm super stoked about it and uh, leave you guys with some tips. Also, in the near future, I want to make a video guide on PC optimization because that is another thing that has definitely helped my gameplay. And uh, so if you want to see that, you can leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.